Hello guys, welcome, welcome back to America Truck Simulator. So I did this video earlier and there was something on the audio, so I'm going to redo it again. So today we're going to be using the new, um, SS has released the new Volvo VNN. I'm sorry, VNL. I keep saying VNN, so I don't know why. Uh, it's a VNL. It's, this is the 8, 860 model of the truck. Now, you can still get the old Volvo if you want to use it. It's still in the game. It is uh, now considered as a 2014 model. So let's get out here and see what we can get into. Now you drive safe, okay? I'm going to turn it up just a smidge. I'm going to look at um, where we're going here. I thought we picked up a load. I thought we picked up a load. Yeah, I thought we did this already. Well, I guess it makes it a little bit longer. That's the wrong menu. Yeah. Okay, here we All go. Alright, we're going to go ahead and pick up our load. We can't get a load here, so we're going to go ahead and pick up our load. So I did a video with this a little bit earlier and it had some audio issues. So I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Because I don't want to put out a bad video with bad audio or something like that. Hope everyone's doing well. I do appreciate everyone been coming out and watching the live streams. Get ready uh, to turn left. Subscribe to the channel means a lot. It helps the channel grow. Turn left. And hopefully this rain will move out of here. Can't see anything with this rain. Right, and then you know it. Continue straight on. Go straight on. That's right. So we'll go over all the features of this truck. If it has any lag, guys, I do apologize for the lag. The game is just has some lag in it right now. I don't. I'm, I don't know exactly what it is. I'm again thinking it's just ATS lagging. So like I said, the, the old bobble is still in the game. You can still use it. We'll have to go around him. He's stuck in the middle of the road. I would still use the old one too. Get ready to turn left. Oh, we got this is gonna be a longer trip than I thought. It'll be a hundred miles just to pick up the load. That's okay. Oh, we, gotta, we gotta go across the scale. Now I keep left there. Find us a new 
we're empty, so you know our weight is gonna be different because we're more empty. It's gonna be the weight of the truck. Fuel. Rerouting. All right, weigh you thirty-three thousand one hundred seven pounds. Like I said, we're we're empty. So. Got about a half tank of fuel, so that's probably about right, to be honest with you. And we'll go over the every, all the features of the truck. Now, this truck does have. Uh, the, the feature on it is just like it does the real one does like if someone gets too close to your mirror Or you got to you're gonna turn to someone on each side of you. It lets you know It beeps and lets you know that there's someone there getting a little bit lag I, like I said I don't know where the right now where it's coming from I just can to think sometimes that it's just this game doing it now I keep left there We have 55 miles to go, and we're just now going to pick up our load, so. And I think the load was 100 and 121 miles. Keep right, and then exit right. So for me, I try to uh, like this trailer here. Like we're gonna go pick up some wood shavings, I believe. I try to run legit stuff. I don't really see a reason to put in like scrap cars or cardboard or pallets in a trailer like this. It doesn't make sense to me to do that. So I try to find loads that it's kind of more realistic than what you would see they would haul in a trailer like this in real life.
get ready to turn left. Turn left. Long old dirt roads. It's all over now. Nope. Wrong menu. So we're here in Reading. We can go... All these are far, though. Oh, I don't want to do none of that. I thought there was one that was... No. Why did it send us here then? Because it had a shorter run than that. I mean, that's... That's a thousand miles. That's a thousand miles. And that's 900 miles. I don't want to do a video with 900 miles, so no. Run do that. Hold on a minute. Let me see what we can do here. That's way too far. There's one, see that's 900 miles. We haul some cotton. 400 miles. Three hundred ninety-four. What do that right there? That's 100 miles. Wood shavings. Ready to rock and roll. All right, where I turn around? Go straight on. That's right. Before it, it's, it was going to send me here to pick up a loop. That's trucking though. I can like say uh, now that you know the truck's been out about a day, day and a half. Now there's a lot of engine packs has already updated for the truck, so there's a ton of engine packs out there 
it works for this Volvo like he did the old Volvo. So, so we do have that. We wouldn't have even came here because when, when I first clicked on it, it had a shorter run. That's what we was going to go run was a shorter run. The time we got here, the, it had counts of the run. So I guess the time ran out. That makes this video a little bit longer than what I was planning on to be, but that's okay. I'm still looking to use some modded trucks. I'm looking around to see what ones we want to use. Now, I can tell you that John Ruder's trucks, as far as I know, has been updated, but this is what I want to tell you about that, guys. Um, if you see his trucks on mod sites, make sure that his, his name is on the truck and that no one didn't steal the mod and put it on there because you don't want to use somebody's mod that was stolen, you know. So make sure if you do see, I know John Ruder has been posting some of his stuff for free on some mod sites. So, you know, if you see it, you know, just uh, make sure that it does have his name on it. I don't use too many modded trucks now. I occasionally I will use his stuff, but I know his stuff is paid mods, which I understand that. But for me, it would not really be that good because I don't used to be the modded truck so it would be a waste of the money to you know to buy the truck but I would rather use this truck a truck like this but hey this one here is 57 miles to get where we going to pick this up Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. I've kind of uh, worked on the handling too because uh, I am using a controller so I've kind of worked on um, handling the truck better with the controller I, I, re I adjust the uh, handling a little bit and I think it's a little bit better for me Right. 
makes it right. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. And like I said, I already recorded this one time and the audio was bad, so I'm having to redo it. Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. Oh, that was a big stutter. I don't know what that was. left and then turn left. I want to pick up right here. Turn left. And of course it will be a train coming. Why not? Oh, I like the uh, scrap cars. Well, no, that's cool. I love the graffiti that's on the train cars because you see that everywhere. So I love that. Using the long train mod. Got some wood. Trailers there. We're gonna pick up right here. You have arrived to your destination. Your route guidance is now finished. All right, so we got. That's too far. I think we're gonna do this one. Yeah, that's 199 miles. I still not bad. We we'll, we'll have to do that and that that one out there, 190 miles. Let's go out to Memphis, Oregon. We're in Reading. Thought the one that we have is 100 miles. Maybe that was just to get here. But that'll be okay. Well, guys, you get a little bit longer video than normal. I do apologize for the uh, confusing, because when I looked at it to go pick up that first load, it had a load of about like 100 miles or 120 miles or something like that that we could pick up. Well, we get there, and the load's not there, so we have to find another load. But, you know, like I said, that's trucking.
Good thing you wouldn't do this in real life. What we should have done, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. This is what we should have done in the first place. I just knows what we what we could do that would save us from doing that. Because you would tear up your trailer doing that, so you don't want to do that. What we should have done. Let me get it straight here. We should back over there by that lumber. Just like this. Start turning. Go ahead and look at this window here. Like this. It's kind of enough where we can turn the truck. Like this. Turn the wheel enough to get by. Now we can kind of straighten the truck up. Like that. So we, now we, we've got, we pretty much have got turned around. Straight up a little bit more. Now we can start backing. This is going to be better on backing up than the other way. So let's kind of pull it over this way and kind of straighten it up a little bit. Like this. Have to watch that trailer on the other side of you here. I can see it pretty good. Start turning it. Nine miles to go. Four hours and eight minutes to get there. Let's 
Let's get on route. That was a little bit better, I think, backing it than it was the way I was going to do it. Because, I mean, in reality, that would have tore your trailer up and the side of your truck. Turn it that sharp. I mean, yeah. It, it would have destroyed the side of the trailer. What are y'all doing, cars? Oh, we ain't gonna be able to get out of here now. Look at this traffic. Uh, Alright, y'all gotta get out of the way. This truck is stuck. Alright. We're having to go around here. Yes, ma'am. We're on our way. Turn left. Slide on up in here. Let's get over in this lane. So guys, what do y'all think about the new Volvo being in from SCS? I, th I think it's a really good looking truck. They're getting better and better. Every truck they do, they're getting better with, uh, with doing them. I know that we're probably going to be getting the new uh, Kenworth this year. That's probably going to be the next truck we get because it may, be the, it may be the Peterbilt, but I know that when they released the W900, the update W900, they said the Packard will be back later this year later this year so that tells me that either we're to get the the new uh, W9 I mean not W9 I'm sorry the, the new uh, T680 next generation or we're going to get the new Peter 579 next generation one of them will be coming this year I don't think we'll get the W990 this soon I know that they are working on that truck which will be awesome to see Another pin, another Kenworth. Which means they need to do the the 567 Peterbilt, and they also, you know, they Peterbilt just announced the. Uh, I keep left there. They just showed the uh, the 589. That was just announced.
Work out and stay around the speed limit. a little bit different with the profile on here um, you know as I said before you know you have a, a tons of uh, garages on this profile is that's never used I, I never use them. so instead of making like multiple profiles I'm gonna just make use one profile and I'm gonna run like when I get done running all these trucks with that I'm like this I'm gonna change the paint scheme and I'm gonna run the light for the market but not all of them. Certain trucks are run from the market, and then certain they want to kind of just start over with a different paint scheme and run our own trucks. And we'll see how, like, you know, what, what all we do, you know. But I still got a pretty good bit to do with this. I'm still going to do some heavy hauling and stuff too. So all that's still coming. You know, we still got more trucks to use. I only jumped over to this one because it, it just come out. I was driving the International Longstar. Which I will go back to this one. To the Longstar when I get done using this one. Which is going to be very soon. We're over our mileage right now on the truck. They really do need to fix that problem though with the uh, traffic. I've, I've noticed that in this version of the game that sometimes the traffic will get stuck like trying to turn into a gas station in certain parts of the mountain. So you know there is some few little things that they, left there. That, they, they, that they do need to fix. Well, like little traffic bugs and stuff. Also, I will be doing another video of this truck. There is a 25 anniversary edition skin for the truck. Now, I may actually just go ahead and buy another one. Uh, one of these to do that with, which is probably what I'll do. And then there's a trailer skin for it. So I'm going to go ahead and be doing that too. That is going to be coming very soon. Probably till the end of this week or next week. Sometimes. Eighty six miles to go. It's just such a beautiful game. It's one reason why I love to play this game, it's just the uh, the view the, the game is is so beautiful. I mean I just love the nature that you see it. Everything you see just looks so good.
it's getting a little bit of lag. I'm gonna have to go back and look through the mod list again. Maybe some of these other trailers that I'm that I'm getting into. I don't know that, but it may it, it could be. Forty-eight miles to go. Are we gonna have to wait? Let's see. Yep. We weigh uh, 80, 68,994 pounds. tell you that right now um, this truck is not in traffic it'll probably take a while because it took um, like three three game versions before we seen the new Western Star in traffic so it'll take a while for them to get it in traffic Yeah, that lag is getting pretty bad. I do apologize Turn for that. Left. All right, we're in Medford.
I do apologize, guy, for that. I, 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 I don't know. It's got to be the game itself. What is that? This is where it ends, sugar. I'm going to turn off that graphics mod and see if that graphics mod calls a map. Turn off my graphics mod. So I do apologize for that. I don't know what's causing that either. It's gotta be that graphic mod. It hasn't been doing yet, so I don't know what. Alright, so we drove exit. We drove 198 miles. Took us five hours, one minute to get here. We consumed 36.8 gallons of fuel. Yep. Alright, guys, I do apologize for that. I don't know what. I think it's the graphics mod causing that. I might turn it off and see if that's what's causing that problem. But I want to get in here today, like I said, do a run with the uh, new um, truck from SCS. The, the, Almost international. The, the Volvo VN, VNL, new, the new one. Now, like I said, the old one is still in the game, so if you want to use the old one, yeah, uh, you can still use the old one. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know what you think about the truck. And we'll see you in the next video, and thank you for watching.